Hey folks, I'm back. What is this video is about? How to build our own personalized chat platform titled ChatHub. That's the sole objective of this video. This is going to be very minimalistic application. So let's straight away dive in and see what this application has to offer. So on opening this application, we land on to directly onto our session page the least friction to the product experience so you can see that we do have simple greeting message hello how can i help you today we have a few features let's try to go to each of them and see how those behaves in this application so in our chart input we have an option to choose from various models irrespective of the providers it can be openai it can be Claude, it can be Gemini and our own local system Llama models which we are going to run from our own system. So these are the options and also very exciting feature here. We can create our own assistants basically specializing to particular task, providing the instructions to behave in a certain manner. And all so let me try to select this python assistant that i have uh, so simple we have an options to configure the model that we need to associate in this assistant with we have the same way like we had uh, the model in our chart input the same component we are going to use it and assign whichever the model that you wanted to and add in the name for this assistant and here you can add in the system prompt and all those things and once you are done you can just click on save and that is how we are going to uh, create our own assistants you can create as many assistants as you can so here uh, just create new assistants and let's say i'm just going to add in like golang assistant i'm just adding here you are Golang, Golang expert and only written Golang code okay so now let's try to save this and you can see here okay uh, let's try to edit the name I'm just changing this one to Golang and we have this assistance and we can use this thing and uh, accordingly play with it so now let's try to see how this is going to behave with the default models and uh, we have in uh, two options one straight away go ahead and ask the question or else just type in slash and here we have default examples of a prompts that we can choose from if we are frequently using certain prompts we can search for those respective prompts and try to find out the one that we need and use it for example let's say i wanted to use for uh, the python script you can see uh, we have here the uh, placeholder so this one it's a kind of like input that we want to take from the user to make it reusable the prompt so if i just click here so i'm going to say like write a write a python script to transcribe videos so now let's see so basically the experience that you receive in all of the platforms it is going to be the same so the streaming experience and the all the format supports in our markdown the code snippets the tables the points ordered list unordered list bullet list everything we are going to support so you can see here it did generate the python code snippet for us and we do have an option to copy so just the way that we see in other platforms so we can see uh, the python code is copied and we have a link here to that respective ffmpeg and we can just go and understand more about those commands and all those things which is very important to play with the videos and here we have the options to copy whatever it is generated in the chart response click on here these are all functional and we can uh, delete this message copy this response and if we wanted to regenerate the response if we don't like the response that it has generated from particular model so click on this one 
and choose from whichever model that you wanted to and use your own custom assistance that we have created let's say i wanted to use this cloud 3 sonnet so if i just select this one so for the same question we try to see the response from that respective model and you can see uh, it is as good as it was with the gpt 40 and that is how we have the option to regenerate the particular message and have the option to use whatever the models that we have from multiple providers and this is one thing and here there is a plugins section inside the chat input as well so we have a three plugins as of now option to search the web and option to generate the image and store the messages that we have received or the questions that we have asked in our chat session and so that we can maintain the context and these are the plugins and now have enabled web search and image generation let's see now i'm just going to ask for generate an image of rocket in amazon forest so i'm just asking some random question and now it should hit the the plugin that we have added you can see the loading message generating image which is very good developer user experience so it is generating the image using the plugin that we have just enabled and you can see now the image that is it is generated to the question that we have asked so generate an image of a rocket in amazon forest you can see that it has generated so you can ask in and have the same experience that we see in other platforms so and learn what it takes to build an applications of this kind and so now let's try to see can we get a latest information from web okay so let me ask like what is latest quantum computing breakthrough from google so now i have enabled uh, the web you can see searching on web and the, we got the results from google search so we got the latest news which is the below chip that is the latest breakthrough in our quantum computing and so very interesting thing here let's say you wanted to select a particular section and inside uh, here so and ask that as a uh, context and follow-up question so once you select that particular text i have here the reply button so what it does is basically once you click on this button so this whatever this selected text will be acting as a context for the question that we have so if i ask uh, can you explain more about it and then we should see the more information following the context that i have selected and this would be the context and then the question combined we are going to get the response so this is what we are building in this application which is going to give you very good knowledge of how to build this kind of applications and the beautiful user experience ui and just a school to bottom section so taking us to the latest message and we have here the quick settings as well so what we see from normal providers out there the common inputs to all our models the maximum tokens that we wanted to see in our outputs and the temperature and top probability and top key you can just configure here so whatever the value that you want you can just adjust to whatever that you want and as simple as this you can just set in these things and we do have an input using a voice as well so let's do give a try using that so here all right uh, can you tell me more about what is Neuralink and what it does so once we spoke this and stop this and you can see that uh, whatever the voice that we sp just spoke it collects that and transcribes it and takes that as the input message from the user 
and gives the information that we see so it's not just the uh, the info that it can it can give it can also format in a table so let's say if i wanted to ask can you give me tech company names and their valuations in table format so now we should see uh, these things from web in a table format you can see that it has given us the microsoft and also bike dance and if i ask uh, more the same question now so follow up from the web search you can see uh, the same uh, company results and also let me just disable this web search and ask the same question now it should use the models and give us the result so this is how it is as good as we see in the standard platforms and that is what we are building in here so this is all we have in this session section uh, page now let's see what we have in the sidebar so this is the chart history whatever we converse and the model that we use we have here each session as part of our sidebar so whatever this model that we use we can just navigate to that respective history and have an option to edit the title of a particular session or delete a particular session so that is what we have in this history sidebar and here is very important thing you can create your own prompt and or go through the list of the prompts that we have for example let me say this is what i select and you can see straight away the prompt that i selected it just comes and sits in our chart input and we can just right away use and tweak that to the product or the trends that we're looking for and then ask it and get the answer that we're looking for an option to create a new prompt just create the title and the prompt and try to give the input in this format so that it is replaceable reusable and we can use across many scenarios so this is the option to create a new prompt and then to edit delete and all normally like we had for the assistance and here is the settings section very very important section here we have quite a few this is very important for you to configure the settings to all the models that we are going to use set in default system prompt so update whatever the way you want this session chart wanted to behave and configure the prompt that you want and we are going to take this prompt from here and use it in all of our successive sessions and here normally whatever we saw in chart input that was a quick settings and we have here more detailed things context length how much you wanted to use basically number of previous messages that we wanted to take so as to use that as a context to answer the follow-up question and then we have the maximum output tokens the temperature configuration top probability top k and the configuration for all the providers so this is where you have to configure the respective providers key for example here i have opened openai and get the openai and try to configure here and these are all we are going to store in browser in your own system using index db we are not storing anywhere in a database or any cloud storage system so and i did add in a button to get the api key from openai's developers platform the same thing for all other providers configure anthropic settings api key click on this to just navigate to that console of this anthropic website and try to get the api key and applies to gemini and we have this olama model so i have showcased how to set up olama in our own system and configure local server url and try to use this model to get the response 
like we do normally from other standard providers like Gemini, Anthropic and OpenAI. And here we have the plugins. So here we can set in the Google search engine ID and also the API key so we can configure the respective engine. We have here for example the two search engines that we can use one the google and another is the duckduckgo so for duckduckgo we don't need any api key or engine configuration so once we select this you can see we don't showcase the configuration option and here there is an voice input so just to enable the speech to text feature or not if we enable this we have an option to input the voice and try to get the response if you disable it the voice input mode will be disabled and the important part again here is the data let's say you have multiple sessions and you have down you we have providing an option to download these sessions as a json file and import that json file into our application and merge with existing sessions or if you don't have any sessions we are going to just use the json file and restore the sessions that you had in the json file so these are all the options to import data to export data and the option to clear all of our sessions and the preferences as well so whatever you have set your preferences we are going to reset all to the default preferences that we have so these are these things that we have in our settings model and uh, this is what the application is all about very minimal application very simple application but it's going to be very effective you're going to learn a lot how to build all of these things on your own we do have uh, the black theme support as well so if you just switch to dark theme so it is just going to give you the same experience as it gives you with the uh, light theme so like it is taking care for all of this code snippets the images list order list links and everything so it is going to give you the same experience and it does work in a responsive mode as well in a smaller screens it just works as good as it works in a web screens and i have not showcased you anything of creating a prompts creating assistance and all we will test that and build in our build sessions and then i'm going to showcase you there and i think um, this is going to be a very informative session for you guys and whatever you're going to learn the knowledge here that will be applicable to any application that you're building hope i'm providing of something of value to guys uh, to you guys let's do it let's jump onto the build session and start building this application and take it from here